Hey everybody, this is Josh Ferguson at Jack Burford Chevrolet. I'm here to introduce this all new 2019 Silverado LTZ71. Let's hop in, I'll take a show, show you some of these great features that we've got going on inside this vehicle. So the first thing that you'll notice with this particular vehicle is that you now have a key fob. The reason for that is it is a push button start, which is located right down here on the right hand side of the steering wheel. So you just get in, you can keep the fob in your pocket or set it right here in a nice little spot. The first thing you see when you get into this vehicle is that it is very simplified. They've got all your full wheel drive and performance controls over here, along with your daytime running lamps. And they've now gotten rid of that old push for the parking brake and it's now just a button you just select. Popping over to the steering wheel here, we've got an all new setup for your controls to make it a little bit easier on you as you're driving. You still have your uh, radio controls on the back for volume on the right and your station uh, selection on the left. But this particular vehicle, we've got the heated steering wheel already included. And like I said, this is a 2019 LT Z71 Silverado. Panning over a little bit, you'll see this beautiful center console area. Now, they've got this beautiful setup here with some nice leather trim around it. But one of the things that catches my eye the most is that in this particular truck you have heated seats dual climate control and then just below that you have your usb and all your connection hookups okay they've introduced the usb c into this vehicle as well so they're keeping up with all the changing um, phones i know that as you know phones progress they change just about every year well this truck is going to keep up and help you stay connected with your truck now one of the awesome things that i like about this truck is it has the state-of-the-art stop-start technology. Now that means that when you're in traffic that the vehicle actually shuts off so that you can save fuel. I know you know sometimes you're in traffic for at a light for 5, 10, 15 minutes. You know that is one of those things that you know you're sitting there burning fuel. Well you, in this truck you have the ability it'll shut off, your air's still gonna run, your radio's still gonna play, you're gonna be comfortable as soon as you let off that, that brake pedal it kicks right up. But if you decided that you didn't want that going on, there is a button right here on your center console that will actually turn that off. So you have the option and the ability to decide whether you want that vehicle to do um, the auto stop start technology. Now, the center console here is very unique because it not only raises up, but once it does, you've got a nice little handle here this center console is going to lock in place for you. So if you needed to use a lot as a sixth seat in this vehicle, this console is not going to move. It's stationary. Your seat belt is now attached to the top of it, which is really handy. That way you don't have to get inside the boxes anymore, pull the seat belt out, or have the seat belt dangling down here at your feet. It's now lock in place, just like the seats in the back wood or right here on your, on your driver's seat. You still do have that, that lockable box down here that you can store things with in. But some of the great features about this truck, I mean, it's just overall, the design of it is beautiful. It's all clean cut. I mean, like I said, the leather that's wrapped around it. Now, you know, I want to show you a little bit in the back because they did change a little bit back there too. And that's something that you're really going to like. All right, guys. So this is the rear, the rear area back here, the rear seat. So you've actually got a little bit more space. They did widen the wheelbase out so you can get a little bit more room in a crew cab truck. But my favorite feature is, so right down here is the ventilations. So they've added the vents to the vehicle for the second row. But not only that, like I said, they're keeping up with the technology that's ever changing. They've added two USB charging only ports back here. So now if you have anybody back here with iPads, want to charge their iPhones or Android uh, devices such as the uh, Samsung, the Samsung tablets, all of that will be uh, plugged in right here charging only and with the state-of-the-art 4G LTE Wi-Fi that's capable in this vehicle you can stay connected on those long road trips stay comfortable in the vehicle with some nice airflow back here now when you take these seats here and you just lift them up now all you have to do if you're 
hauling groceries or hauling, you know, you went to Lowe's or, you know, Walmart and grabbed some, some things for the home improvement. You can actually store them back here in this large space. It is very, we've got these all weather mats down here so you can keep that carpet nice and clean over the duration of um, if you're working outside um, or if you're doing just some home improvements. This seat does fold down as well. There's a little lever up front here. That'll fold that back down after it's locked into place. You've got all LED lighting on the inside, so if there's some, some things you have to see at nighttime, you're gonna be able to see that in a nice white light. Now let's step back to the back of the vehicle and take a look at the bed. All right, so we're at the back of the vehicle here. Now one of the really cool innovations that they've put on this Silverado is now your tailgate has a really awesome feature. You just take your key fob, there's a little button right here. You hit it twice and watch. That tailgate drops down on its own. And if you look inside the bed here, you can see that it's not your normal bed. They've actually widened out this bed for you, giving you a lot more space inside. We've got the front factory spray and bed liner in this particular vehicle. Now, once you come here and you take a look at one of these vehicles, I implore you to lift this tailgate up. I'm gonna take my pinky and just raise that tailgate back up. It is that light. This vehicle is super awesome with all the innovations that they have. Now, there's one really cool small feature that I want to show you. This right here, you have your backup camera located right here, but there's actually a light here that when you turn your top of the cab light on, which is the button designated on the inside, it'll shine down right here on the hitch. That way, if you're backing up to that boat late in the evening after spending all day on the lake, you're going to be able to see your hitch without actually having to get somebody back here holding a light for you. You still have all your hookups. They did give you a dual exhaust on the back of the vehicle. So now you've got a nice little, you sound like, it feels like you're actually driving a truck and it sounds like you're driving a truck there. They widened out your steps back here as well to make it a little bit better and they put some grips on it for you. So that is some of the main features I wanna show you. So what we'll do next is let's go take a ride in this. All right, so what we're about to do is take this beautiful Chevrolet Silverado 1500 Z71 LT for a ride. I wanted to show you a few little preparation things. Of course, you always want to do before you take a ride. You want to make sure your mirrors are good, your seat's comfortable, even your steering wheel is where you feel comfortable driving. So over here on our left-hand side, we do have our mirror control. So once I just select one, and then I'll just move the mirror where I can see. You do have a spot mirror out the left though for the driver's side. They ignite. It's a little bit larger than they used to be. So you can see even further over if we want to change lanes. So I'm just gonna get my mirrors selected. I'm going to get the rear view mirror where I feel like it is. And then you've got an eight way power adjuster over here on the driver so you can, you can raise the front up if you're a little bit taller or you feel like it close to the steering wheel. I like to be close and a little up. Down here there is a lever that you just pop down. Now your steering wheel can go in and out, up and down, get a right position for you where you can see your gauges. You lock it into place and there you go. Now I like to be hands free when I'm driving. So there's a couple ways you can do that in this vehicle. You do have your standard Bluetooth that'll it'll let you know when you're getting a phone call. You can answer it on the steering wheel, but I like to do the Apple CarPlay. And for anybody who has a Samsung, there is an app called Android Auto. And you can see those right here on the screen. They've got it right there for you. That way you don't have to figure out, look around in it where it is. All you do is you just take your, your uh, cord that comes with the phone and you want to just slide it in. For uh, iPhones, you've got the uh, regular USB. Samsungs, these new ones that are coming out, they have a USB-C available. Then you take your phone and you just select it in. And now it's gonna be charging. It's gonna pop up right here about Apple CarPlay. Do you wanna continue? You just select continue. And you wanna unlock your phone. And there's a, a on here it's an app that says allow. You see a blue bar across the top, and then this now is illuminated. Apple CarPlay. We're going to slide our phone right here out of the way, and 
we're going to hit Apple CarPlay. Boom. Now you have all of your hands-free phone, maps, messages. Now I really like this, this maps. So there you can see, now you have all the destinations that are around you. And then you can select right here between some of the your iTunes music. You have Pandora on here, iHeartRadio. If you go to um, the uh, uh, Chevy website, you can actually see what apps are available for your phones. So that's pretty much the, the startup of it. Of course, you do just have your key fob. So we uh, you just push the button, it starts it up. And we're ready to take it a ride. Of course, safety first, put that seatbelt on. And you have that dual exhaust, so you, you feel like you're driving a truck now, which is really awesome about this 2019. And I really like this blind spot monitor over here, or the blind spot uh, mirror over here, because I can see the vehicles coming up from my side view. Um, I like to be a little bit closer to the bed with my, my side mirrors. So, of course, with this vehicle, like I said, you have this auto stop start technology. Down here, you have a light indicating that it is on. You push this, and then when that light goes out, that means the auto stop start technology is turned off. But I personally, I like having it on because when I do come to a stop or I am in traffic, I know that I'm going to be saving the most fuel I possibly can. And you are driving a truck, so, you know, in comparison to, to a smaller car, you are going to use a little bit more gas. But, you know, that's why I like having this on. That way I know if I'm stopped somewhere in a light for too long, of course, we all know that there's, there's those lights in all, all of our towns that they just take way too long to go. Starting route to Jack Burford Chevrolet. In 1.3 miles. Turn left onto Arts Drive. All right, everybody. So we're on our way back to the dealership now. Now, Jack Burford Chevrolet is located in uh, Richmond, Kentucky, just down from EKU, across from Lowe's, 819 Eastern Bypass. So when you're, you're getting in your vehicle to drive, you know, put in your GPS, 819 Eastern Bypass. Come see us. We're not hard to miss. We got a in big one mile. Turn left <laughs> onto Arts Drive. We got Siri. Siri telling us where to go. All right, so we're rolling back in here at Jack Burford Chevrolet. We've got the big sign out front. They say we're across from Lowe's on the EKU bypass. All right, everybody, so that's the 2019 Silverado Z71 LT. Come see us down here at Jack Burford Chevrolet and pick up yours and have a wonderful ride home.